There's quite a few things, of course, that make Robin Jurgensen unique in the world of, of uh, handcrafted timepieces. But one thing especially is very unique for our brand, which is that it's a company that was founded in Copenhagen in 1773, but through its history has had a very integral relationship uh, with Switzerland as well in that, that uh, not only did Jürgen Jürgensen, the founder of the company, and his son, uh, Uwe Jürgensen, travel and, and live for prolonged periods in Switzerland for their uh, journeyman uh, education, but uh, later in life, uh, Jürgensen's, Uwe Jürgensen's sons actually split up and established a development and factory location, both in Copenhagen and in Switzerland. And um, Jules Jürgensen, Urban's uh, son, moved uh, to Switzerland and built a factory there in the Canton Neuchâtel in uh, 1834 and was actually uh, uh, honored by the Canton of Neuchâtel with a gold medal uh, in 1864 uh, for his uh, help and improvement and betterment of the Swiss watchmaking industry. So the Jürgensen dynasty exuded quite uh, a large uh, influence on Swiss watchmaking uh, as such. Uh, we're sitting here at the QP event in London and coincidentally uh, our neighboring uh, brand at the floor we're in is, is Grossmann of Germany. And Grossmann was just one of the many that were trained by the Jürgensen uh, family members. Uh, we have here on first floor Lange and Söhne the old Walter Lange's grandfather was also tutored by the Jürgensen. So from a, a watchmaking uh, savoir-faire, the Jürgensen, uh, both uh, Urban Jürgensen, his two sons, Jules Jürgensen and Louis Urban Jürgensen, they have exuded quite a large uh, influence on watchmaking industry in Europe as a whole. And this uh, Danish and Swiss connection lasted all through the 18th century with uh, locations in Le Locle uh, for development and manufacture and also uh, an atelier in Copenhagen. Um, so it's a very special relationship and the latest uh, developments uh, in, in the company's 242 year history has been that uh, after 30 years of Swiss ownership the company is now back in Danish hands uh, since a year, about a year now, since November 2014. So we feel that we are both, in a sense, a Danish company and a Swiss company. So it's a very special angle on the relationship uh, with Swiss watchmaking uh, throughout all of the 242 years of the company's history. And that makes Urban Jürgensen quite a unique uh, crafted brand on the market today.